Hello and welcome back once again. We're now going to look at the fourth test in the testing sequence on polarity. Now, regulation 612.6 of BS7671 requires a test of polarity shall be made and it shall be verified that one, every fuse and single pole control and protective device is connected in the line conductor only. Two, except for E14 and E27 lamp holders manufactured to BSEN60238, center bayonet and Edison screw lamp holders must have the outer or screwed contacts connected to the neutral conductors. And three, wiring has been correctly connected to socket outlets and similar accessories. The common method used to prove that polarity is correct is by carrying out a check during the continuity test, test method one. This allows the inspector to check that single pole devices and protective devices are connected in the line conductor only and supplements the initial inspection carried out on the installation. Opening and closing switches on lighting circuits to obtain high, low readings will be sufficient to prove that polarity is correct. The inspector can make use of the test instrument buzzer during test method one to provide an audible indication that polarity is correct and that the switch is making and breaking. This should then be indicated on the schedule of test results by inserting a tick in the polarity column. With regards to socket outlets on ring final circuits, step two and step three of the ring final circuit test procedure will be sufficient to verify polarity and confirmation of polarity can again be made on the schedule of test results by inserting a tick in the polarity column. Note, if we have carried out checks on polarity during other tests, there is no requirement to repeat them. And another point to note is that polarity should be checked before proceeding with the power on tests and can be easily verified where test equipment incorporates a voltage display and polarity indication feature. Alternatively, this could be verified with suitable voltage test equipment. When correct polarity has been confirmed, this should be indicated by inserting a tick in the box correct supply polarity confirmed, which is located at the top left hand side of the schedule of test results. And that's all there is on polarity. Now watch the next video in the series on protection by automatic disconnection of supply.